So I intend for this to be a fairly quick video on this HasLab Galactus. Uh, lately there has been a bombardment of video reviews and photos and just, you know, videos on the HasLab Galactus. Uh, rightfully so, I mean, this is, uh, you know, the release of it. Everyone's been receiving it around the same time and the hype is, is there. I mean, this is the hype right now. And you're going to just see a lot. I mean, it's getting to the point where even I'm getting tired of seeing it on my feed. Uh, but it is, you know, it is rightfully so. It's I can't blame anyone. I mean, even I'm posting about it. Here I am making a video of it myself. But instead of a traditional video review, I just figured I'd do just a quick, like, let's talk about it type of video uh, regarding the House Lab Galactus. In case there's anyone out there that just wants to know my thoughts uh, sort of what I would say during the review without actually doing a full review. Uh, not only is it just so difficult and painful to just do a review of such a gigantic figure like this, um, and it's very, very time consuming. So uh, I will go ahead and just talk about it and show you right here. Of course, we all know what this looks like. Uh, first and foremost, this thing is absolutely breathtaking. You know, it's it's very, very nice. You know, in hand, is totally, totally different than what you see in pictures, at least in my opinion. It's just one of those things that you, you have to experience in person. You really have to see it in person before making a decision on what you really, really think about it. Because it is such a presence. It's such a nice, nice experience, I guess you can say in person in hand rather than just seeing a video or seeing photos i mean even the photos and the videos are are doing this thing justice but i'm telling you in person it's a whole entire different experience in a good way now you can see here i have all the heralds of galactus down here i'm missing a few uh thor is not in here and of course there's some that are not made yet but these are more of the recent releases of course morg is part of this release with Haslab uh, Galactus and so is Frankie Ray back here and Silver Surfer over here. Everybody else is a separate release. So Fire Lord was part of the Retro Fantastic Four wave and then the Fallen One and Terex I just recently reviewed that was a two pack. Uh, of course Thor comes in I want to say the controller build the figure wave. So uh, yeah I mean these are all great they look all fantastic next to uh, Galactus, you can see that they all stand no higher than his boot. <laughs> Frankie, of course, is on the flame here, which is a pretty dope effect. I really like that inclusion. You can even stand it on the on the on a flat surface, as you see right now, if you want her just displayed in your display and not in Galactus's hand. You don't have to. Same thing goes for Silver Surfer. Now, the Silver Surfer is indeed the same exact figure from the Walgreens exclusive. But he does have a different type of silver paint on him, which still looks very, very nice, I must say. But I do prefer the Walgreens exclusive color more, just like I prefer the Terax, the original release Terax more than this release, believe it or not. Fallen One's okay, Fire Lord's pretty dope, and then of course the star of the show here is Morg, in my opinion. This guy is fantastic, I love it. Aside from some paint lagging on the metal parts there, I wish that was a little bit more painted or detailed or shaded uh, I think this thing's fantastic and I might end up doing individual reviews on the tiers so I might do a review on Morg then I'll do a review on Frankie Ray and maybe I'll do a review on Silver Surfer let me know if you guys would want to see that if you guys would want to see that I meant to say speaking too fast here but here is the build a figure the toy biz build a figure back in 2005, this thing was released. I got some good paint apps on this one right here. A lot of people were questioning my my Toy Biz version when I posted a picture on my Instagram because the paint looks so good. Um, it's not customized. It's not uh, you know painted by me or anything. It's I cherry picked the best pieces I could find, and that's what I you know came up with right there. And then I mean he gets towered by Galactus. And all the way to the far left, I have Sentinel here. Uh, he's a little further back, but he is shorter than Galactus. Of course, we've seen many comparisons already of these two. Uh, I got quite the mess here on this table as you see a bunch of figures next to it. Uh, but yeah, pretty much this thing is phenomenal. I really have no issues. I think, you know, obviously there's always room for improvement. There's always room to add more. But for the most part, this thing looks great. 
you know i think if there was some shading on the textured you know body you can see there's texture there all over the body if there was shading there that would really push it over the top of those shading on everything on the figure you know or black wash it would really push it over the top of course um but as it is it's still a fantastic looking figure he is as articulated as you would want a marvel legend to be aside from the head of course the head doesn't move up and down too much but it does move left and right just fine you can see the biceps over there we do get um, double jointed elbows and they are actually pinless on the outside but they're pinned on the inside which is kind of weird but it's fine i'm not really bugging about that uh, of course, the, all the articulated fingers, just like Sentinel is. Now, I gotta admit, this Doctor Doom head is awesome looking. It, it's painted so beautifully, sculpted so beautifully. But it is something I'm never gonna use, to be honest with you. And it's something that nobody asked for. So, in the end of the day, I wish this would have been another figure instead of a Doctor Doom head. But it is a cool piece. I'm gonna use it just to display on my shelf like that. This could be a paperweight, and that's not an insult. I'm saying this could literally be like a little paperweight on on your desk, or just a display of a Doctor Doom head. Any Doom fans out there might might dig it. I don't know. Maybe a customizer can make a torso for it, so you can display it like a bust. I don't know, but I'm just gonna display it like that. Not gonna use it, but maybe some people will. Like I said, didn't ask for it. I wish we would have gotten another figure rather than this. But we got it anyways, and here it is. It does look good. Of course, we can't forget that he does have light up eyes, light up ears here, as well as the light up the circles here on the top of the head. And the torso and the back piece as well lights up. I don't have any batteries in, but you just press the chest button and it lights up. There is no sounds. I don't care about sounds, so I'm fine with that. I'm not going to be, you know... I'm not even going to be using the lights all that often as you can see I don't even have batteries in it to uh, to light it up because I don't want it to corrode inside and it's just a hassle to continue to open it and uh, take it out and put batteries in and out when you want to show somebody and then when you want to just display it but I did put some in uh, to show some friends the other day and I got to see it in person and I think it looks great it's fun but of course, you never want to leave batteries inside anything uh, because it could risk corrosion and damage to your very expensive investment here. This very expensive addition to your collection. Um, you know, 400 bucks is not cheap, but you also don't want to, um, you know, ruin your your figure here. So I will say, though, when you press the button, you are kind of like anticipating a sound to come out of it. So I can see where people are like, hey, I wish there was a sound because your brain just feels like, you know, it almost prepares you to hear something, but there's nothing coming out of it. Um, but in the end of the day, I really could care less about lights and sounds. I just want the figure to look amazing. And, um, you know, the lights is a bonus for me, to, to, to be completely honest. Uh, so yeah, definitely cool when it comes to like photography. So I'm I'm happy for that. So if anything, yes, add lights, sounds. Eh, we don't really need the sound, so I'm okay with that. If that made this figure not cost 500 bucks, then I'm all for it. You know, it cost us 400 rather than anything more than that. Now he does have an alternate face plate or mouth plate, I should say, and it is this angry version with the teeth showing, and I think that's a fantastic option to have. And it looks great. It adds some more fun factor to the whole entire package. And I'm all for it. I think it looks super good. They painted it very well. Sculpted very well as well. I mean, really no, no issues here. And then our third one, our last one, is this kind of skull or zombie-ish version of Galactus. Really not a faceplate I'm going to utilize. But still adds some fun to this whole package just like the previous face sculpt. So, all in all, in the end, this thing really makes me happy right now. This is one of the greatest Marvel Legends ever made. It's definitely the biggest Marvel Legend ever made. But whether or not it's the best Marvel Legend ever made is up there for sure. It's up for debate. No, you know, no one's ever going to agree on that. But for right now, I think, I mean, quickly, you know, off the top of my head, I think I can say that, of course, he probably is the greatest Marvel Legend ever made. You really can't compete with such a massive figure like this it's just, it's just so so nice and really have no words for it it's it's a fantastic piece so this galactus release came 
around the time that Hazlab Robbie Reyes Engine of Vengeance is coming to an end and unfortunately it doesn't seem like that's gonna back but what this release really did for me once I opened it up and once I enjoyed it for a few days it really put into perspective or in my mind just how much we got for for this release you know we got the biggest Marvel Legend ever made we got three figures including a brand new morgue of course right here we got an alternate head for doom although i did say nobody asked for it nobody really wants it if we're gonna be completely honest or if i'm gonna be completely honest but it is there and if you were to show me a 350 and dollar car or a 400 dollar gigantic galactus figure for 50 dollars more um I will go with Galactus all day and night. This, to me, is the definition of a HasLab project. Uh, when I see that car now that I have Galactus, when I see that car now, I don't feel like that should be categorized as HasLab anymore. But maybe it's just the hype getting to my head here. But seeing this thing in, in person really puts that into perspective for me. I feel like that car should have been way less. 200 maybe. But we can sit here and debate that all day. Those have been my thoughts on the Galactus HasLab. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this somewhat review slash let's talk about video. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Hit the like button. Consider subscribing if you have not done so already. And as always everyone, take care, take it easy, and I will catch you on the next one.